Welcome to the Center for Experiential Education. You are likely watching this video because your professor has provided you with the opportunity to participate in service learning. In this video, I will tell you more about service learning and how to get started. Service learning is a meaningful, hands-on experience in the community that helps connect with what you're learning in the classroom. Over, last year, over 850 students participated in over 20,000 hours of service. The benefit to you as a student is that you get to go out into the community and have a hands-on experience that connects to your class and provides you with credit in that class and also helps you develop a professional network that will help you with your career development and exploration and also helps you fulfill requirements that four-year institutions may have that students complete service. Students have often been able to complete that requirement prior to transferring to their four-year institution. The Center for Experiential Education also provides students with letters of reference with all of their service experiences that they have on record for a student. This can help you with the scholarship applications, transfer applications, and your resume building. I will now show you how to use our website to connect with the resources for community partners and to get registered online with the Center for Experiential Education. From the Normandale website, you will click on Current Students and then the Center for Experiential Education. This will take you to our main page. You can click on Register for Service Learning and the steps will be provided for you here. Step one is to choose your community partner. You can do this by checking the courses page for your instructor. Your instructor's information will be listed here, both the class information and the organizations that your instructor has approved for this course. You then can choose your community partner by clicking on the Key Community Partners link and looking at the descriptions provided. These descriptions will provide you with information about the agency and the position description for the volunteers. The information on how to apply is very important. You may be able to click on their website to fill out an online application or there may be an application to download and fill out. You may just have to contact the site. Once you have filled out their application, make sure you set up a training time and that you schedule your service hours. Your schedule working with the organization is very important. We know you have a lot to balance as students, but we expect you to take this commitment seriously and know that you will have to commit to the time that they have requested. Make sure that you'll be able to get your required amount of hours with the site before the hours deadline. Once you know that this organization will work for you, you will register online with our office. You'll note that the deadline to register online is on our website. It is possible that your instructor has a different deadline to register online, so please check your syllabus to make sure that this deadline is accurate. Click on the Register for Service Learning button and you will get to our form. You will provide personal information, including an email address that you check often. This email address we will send information about deadlines and reminders. You will then choose the appropriate term, your professor, and your section number. Please note that there are a lot of section numbers you can choose from, but it's very important that you select the one that is appropriate for your class. This is how we send reports to your instructor about your participation. You will then choose your community partner. You will note that this list is very long. Not all of these are an option for your class, so please choose from the list that has been approved by your instructor. If you would like to work with an organization that is not approved by your instructor, please talk to the instructor and have them email their approval to servicelearning at normandale.edu. If you are working with another site that is not listed here, click on Other Site Not Listed and provide the information about the organization in this box. List the name of the organization, the supervisor, and their contact information. Then each student must fill out a waiver of liability. This is required for all students going off campus to participate in a Normandale sponsored event. Students who are under 18 must hit print at this point and print this document and have a parent or guardian fill in this information and sign and date it. This can be turned in to the Center for Experiential Education in C1066. You will then hit I agree and continue. 
Every student must hit I agree and continue for this form to be submitted. You will then receive a confirmation page and a confirmation email letting you know that this has been successful. If you've made any errors, please contact our office. If you are doing service learning for more than one class, you will need to complete the hours for each class. This means that if a class is offering you the option to do 10 hours of service in their class and you have another that you have to do 20 hours for, you must complete 30 hours of service in order to get credit for both. Please make your decision carefully as you have a lot to balance each term. If you are doing service for more than one class, you must register online for each class if you have questions, please visit us in the Center for Experiential Education in C1066 or contact us looking at our information in the Contact Us section of our website.